Number three is a diode. This is the symbol and this is the graph. Let's have a look at this graph. We can see in one direction when the voltage is negative, we've got no current flowing. If we were to turn it around the other way, then current would flow. So our diode only allows current to flow one way. It stops the current the other way. Imagine if the current was coming in here, it's being stopped by the diode, so it can't go around the circuit. Device number four is a bulb. Fairly common symbol that we should know. This is the graph. It's an S shape. Initially, the gradient's the same, so the resistance is step the same, but then it starts to curve. That shows us that the resistance is increasing as you turn the bulb up. Slightly uh, higher tier, harder part here. Um, the reason this happens is because it, as you turn the bulb up, it also gets hotter. Those atoms that make up the wire are going to start vibrating, which means the electrons will collide with them more. So we've got more resistance. As you turn the bulb up, you get more resistance.